Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to dare to share with you how you can create these animated course profile pictures that you can later on upload to your Schoology. I have a video that shows you how you can convert these into a GIF because these, once we create them, we cannot upload them to course profile picture. So they play all these animations that we apply to them. You can only do that to announcements page. But if you want to have animated course profile picture in Schoology, then keep on watching. I'll show you how we can create one for one of my classes that I still haven't created and take you through how we can do this together. All right, now the options that we have to create these are really unlimited. You can keep it really simple if you like and just apply text boxes and images on your slide or if you dare to challenge yourself a little bit and take it further, you can choose to add animations and GIFs. The GIFs that I used in these slides already are, for example, the bubbles that you see here. In this slide, I used this flipping notebook as a GIF, and also I used pencil in this one. Okay, so my slide is ready. If you're wondering what my page setup is, um, I am using standard 4x3. Now you can choose it if you want it to look like more square or more wide, then you just choose how you want it to show in your profile picture. For your course uh, and remember it will fit it doesn't matter what dimensions you choose it will uh, be auto sized schoology just simply makes it to fit for you now i'm going to begin with inserting word art uh, because i don't want to begin with the background i rather begin with the title first see what colors will i be using and then i will decide what my background will be now i'm creating class working with words so i'm going to make it like a spelling bee theme. So for this, I think I'm going to use black for my letters. You can always use also text boxes and write your title into a text box. Now I'm going to use comic. And again, I'm gonna insert another word art for my grade. I choose to use word art because it will be big right away and uh, it's easier to customize it with the word art. Okay, I think I'm gonna use comic. So that is that. Now, next thing that I'm going to be applying to this will be my Bitmoji. So I assume that you'll have your Bitmoji, that you downloaded the extension and that you created your Bitmoji through Snapchat. If you haven't done so, you're missing on a lot of fun. I'm just going to go ahead and pick this one. You see it has words and I don't really want those words in it. So I'm just going to crop it. Now, sometimes you might not be able to do cropping and you will have to do it different way. And I'll make a video on that, how you can get rid of extra text that you have around Bitmoji that you cannot crop. Like this one we can because it's on the bottom. So we'll just easily get rid of that text. And, um, now we just have a bitmoji. Now I need to flip it. Sometimes you cannot even flip it, remember, because of the text. So uh, this one doesn't have now text, so I can rotate it horizontally. Now I can size it and put it in the position I like. So in another video, I'll show you how you can remove an extra text that you don't like around your bitmoji and make it transparent again. Okay, now we need to add background, so we'll click on explore button now if you still want to add more stuff you can always do that here we're just going to look for b background and i'm looking for images right so images let's see what we can find i like this one click on plus now the background will have to be all the way to the back, so we'll play with the layers again. We will send that to back, order, send to back. Now we'll adjust it so it fits our slide. Okay. Now remember your Bitmoji has to be transparent just because you don't want it to be like a sticker, right? On top of your slide. Now we are ready 
for animation. So if we can close the explore and let's go uh, add animation to the text. I'm just going to show you how to add animation to the title and then you can add another animations to uh, maybe whatever else you have on your slide. So we're going to highlight the text and we're going to click on the three dots and animate. Now we're going to decide what we want this to do for us. So we're going to add animation to the title that we have highlighted and um, pick what we want. I'm going to choose, let's say, spin. Okay. And I don't want it to be on click because this would be causing me troubles when I'm trying to convert it into a GIF. So uh, I will choose after previous and you can play it just to see, preview it, see what it looks like. All right. So if you're happy with that, then you will just now finally apply your GIF. All right. For GIF, you will be uh, using extension called Giphy. I will put that in the description box below. Giphy is a Chrome extension. With this extension, what you want to keep in mind in here, you always have to put the word sticker or else you'll be getting um, all kinds of weird stuff. So flying bee sticker, if you're looking for flower, you would just put flower sticker. Okay, I'm going to find one that I like. I'll pick this one and you will drag and drop it to your slide. And once you have it, you'll see it has two boxes. All you have to do, and it's some box uh, with text inside it. So all you have to do is click outside of the box and then click again inside of the box and now go backspace. And now the box, the extra box is gone and also the text. And all you have left is just the B. And now we have the box. There left just the one box that we needed to adjust this. So now you can look at the final work that we created by clicking on this play and see what it looks like. All right, now you're ready to save it as a PNG. You'll go to File, Download, and PNG, which gives you a better image than JPEG. And you will save that to your computer and then upload that to Schoology. Now, if you don't want the GIF in it, just make sure that you remove that before you do the PNG if you're not planning on converting this into a GIF. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this small tutorial. I'm looking forward to bring to you something else that I will dare to share with you. Be safe and see you in the next video. Bye.